so what is the difference between a cleaning on the outside and a cleaning from within? I think each one of us knows what it means to clean on the outside, but what actually does it mean to clean from within and why is it so important? For my understanding, a cleaning on the outside is really something that you do which has an end. So you clean and your intention is to get your house cleaned. To be honest, speaking for myself, it is more related to whatever or whoever surrounds me. Whereas when I clean from within, it is a process which, which has no means to an end. Thing that allows you to be very much present and to really take care of yourself. Exploring from within. So hi everybody and welcome to 5 Minutes Yoga from the Inside. I'm Sandra and if you are new to my videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified as soon as I publish a new content and make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I will be regularly posting more on and about yoga. In today's video, we're going to have a closer look on the Kriya, on the cleaning exercise Kapalabhati. And what you need for today is just you, good intentions as always, your mat, and then I would say, let's get on our mat and let's practice. So make sure that you are comfortably seated, whatever that means to you. What I would like to share in today's um, video is really that focusing on a strong exhalation and a passive inhalation. And this passive inhalation even means feeling that the belly relaxes a bit before there is a strong exhalation again. And that is quite an issue. So we'll see how that works for you. To give you even a better feeling on exactly where this strong exhalation is happening, I want you to cough. So whenever you cough, <coughs> you see my fingers, you can feel that it is below under your navel that this strong exhalation takes place. You can also experience what is the rest of the body doing. So there is no movement, almost no movement in your upper part. Once you feel comfortable and you think you got it, I want you to practice in the beginning really your, the relaxing of the belly after the strong exhalation. So before we go into that passive inhalation, I really want you to feel a strong exhalation and then inhale into your belly and relax the belly. And that means that the belly really pops a bit up. So the belly comes out. And then you strongly exhale again. Belly goes back, wait after the exhalation before you release the belly again, inhaling. And feel that the belly relaxes and comes out. So be very much aware of the relaxing of the belly after the strong exhalation. That is very important. Once you allow yourself to relax the belly after the strong exhalation, you will be able to passively inhale. So once you feel comfortable, strongly exhaling, releasing the belly, inhaling, strongly exhaling and releasing the belly again. So once you are able to release, we try to exhale strongly and then passively inhale. And pass passively inhaling, from my understanding here, is releasing the belly a bit without losing it. And I feel it is like a second heart beat.
Yes, and like always, I hope that this little insight of mine helped you to move forward on your own yoga journey. If you liked this video, please make sure that you share it, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where I will be posting more on and about yoga. And if you want to meet me in person, then check out my website, alllifeisyoga.com. There is an upcoming retreat in October 2022, so check on my website if you want to have further information on it. See you next time here. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.